Hello Aries viewers. I missed you guys. Sorry I've been away. I've been traveling, but I just got home recently, so I'm back now. And yeah, let's get into some readings. So today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to look into what this person, look into what your person is feeling on a deeper level. Like what what's unspoken? What are they not saying to you? What's going on behind the scenes? Like what's what's happening here with this? And as always, if you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. And that email is right below in the description box below this video. Any donations are appreciated too. And my donation links are also below. Thief, expectation, unexpected income, great fortune. What I'm seeing with this is this is actually good karma for you. I feel like, I really feel like this is the past. I really feel like this is someone in the past. Um, it could be an ex. I'm getting more like, I'm getting more like the energy of karmic cycles. Like maybe not being, I'm getting that this is more about finances. And I feel like even like control issues here. And I feel like maybe you weren't so good with money in the past and you're about to have some unexpected income come in. Um, great fortune. Like you could have, you just, you have more stability coming in, you know, because you've gone through these cycles. And I think that you've, you've learned, you're wrapping up the karmic lessons now. Um, I think that was just a quick message for someone. Thoughts, ooh. thoughts, courtship. Someone might be thinking about dating you. Someone... Of high stance, someone that's mature, someone, male or female, someone that's mature, someone, um, you know, we have high honor here, someone with integrity, someone that's loyal. So, so there's, yeah, so there's two separate messages. For one, you're being told that you're ending karmic cycles and your finances are going to finally start improving because you're letting go of control issues and you're, um, you're just bringing an abundance. I think that you're, I think you're changing your relationship to money and just to stability in general too. I think that you're approaching things differently, like approaching love and finances. And, um, you know, if you're trying to get a house, just, you just in general, I feel like you're approaching things differently than you have in the past. It's like you're, you're, you know, you've, you're coming out of these old karmic cycles. It looks like there is someone that you're thinking about who's also thinking about you who's thinking about um, asking you on a date or you guys are already dating. And this person is, you know, they have high honor here. Loyalty, integrity, they're very mature. Could be someone that's older than you too. And it doesn't have to be a male. This could be, I mean, this could be male, male. This could be female, female. Um, it's, you know, just take it as it resonates. I'm sorry I have to make the reading so short, but my camera is acting up and it keeps cutting the video out at 10 minutes. So gonna have to make these sh this one short but as I've said if you want a private reading for me just send me an email I'm you know I'm still doing those so I'm intentional so this these are the messages that we're getting here so this is about what this person is not saying or what this person is what this person wants you to know but maybe they're having trouble expressing or just what's what's going on on a deeper level with this connection and some of this could be subconscious too some of this could be you know in coming within the next week, this is just, you know, what's what's going on on a deeper level here. I'm intentionally telepathically communicating with you. I'm trying to manifest our reunion. So I feel like this person is aware that you guys have a psychic connection. And I feel like, I feel like they're kind of starting to experiment with it. I almost feel like you guys like almost like mirror each other. This could be like a twin flame or like a high level soulmate here. And I get the sense that this could be someone that maybe you told them that there was that twin flame or soulmate connection. And I think now they're more open to it. And I think now they're kind of, what I'm, what I'm getting from this energy, because as you guys know, I channel primarily. So when I put the cards down, I'm, you know, I'm channeling the energy. And what I'm feeling from this is like this person is kind of aware they're becoming aware, at least, that they're picking up on your thoughts, your emotions, and vice versa. And so I kind of feel like they're starting to experiment with this. This might be someone that's, like, not fully familiar with the psychic world, or they're just kind of now starting to, to you know, dip their feet into it. 
And so it'd be someone that's trying to like, you know, manifest themselves in your dreams or someone that's like, you know, like they're having these intuitive nudges or they're having um, like seeing synchronicities, um, you know, having these feelings and being like, wait, I think this is coming from my person, not from me. Like they're, they're kind of opening up to the nature of this connection. I've never felt this way before. I'm aware that you're my soulmate or twin flame. You're the one. So there's a lot of deep feelings here, but I'm almost getting the sense that some of it is like telepathic or subconscious and it's coming to like, this person is processing it. Does that make sense? It's like on a soul level, they, they, they feel this, this um, psychic bond with you, but I feel like it's still coming to the surface for them, if that makes sense. Like they're, they're opening up to it. And like I said, they're experimenting with it now. They, they might, you know, they, they might not have had like a psychic bond like this with, before with someone. So now they're kind of like, wait a minute, like, is this anxiety or is this energy coming from my person or is it coming from me? Like they're starting to, um, you know, really get into it and like ask themselves these questions. I'm jealous. I'm afraid that you already are or that you will end up dating someone else. That's an interesting energy. Some of them are more jealous than they let on. And that could be for someone specific. I've come so close to messaging you. I start typing, but then I end up overthinking. But then I overthink and I end up deleting everything I wrote. So for some, this person does want to express these emotions, but I think they're trying to sort through it themselves. I feel like this is just like a very intense psychic bond is what's going on here. So your person might be like a little bit distant, a little bit, you know, in their head. I really think that they're just taking some time just on their own to sort through their emotions and like understand the nature of this connection. Like if this is like a twin flame or something, or if this is like a very high level soulmate, they might not have been in a connection before where they have, you know, some of them might be having dreams or they're having, they could be having visions or they could just be feeling your energy or feeling like, you know, like a certain level of like vulnerability with you or just something that just kind of feels a little bit different than what they've experienced in the past. And I think they're kind of trying to, trying to take some time alone just to like sort through that energy and understand what that energy is. It's like, they're just processing a lot. So I, I don't think that the, um, and I'm not saying that they're like silent necessarily, but I'm just saying like they, you know, they are in their head about this. They, they are processing it. Even if they're not saying a lot, they, they are becoming more and more aware of this energy. And there are things that they want to say to you, but it looks like they're just not ready to say them quite yet. I'm being watched. I want to reach out, but there are people around me. I'm going to reach. That's really amazing that we got, I want to reach out. And then we got, I'm going to reach out. I'm just searching for the right words to say. This to me feels like there could be a third party or like someone that influenced this person to not go after this because maybe they're like, okay, like maybe, maybe they told this other person like, Hey, I think this person's like my twin flame or my soulmate or like, I, I feel all these emotions and this other person might have been like, oh, you're crazy. That's too soon. Or like, you know, like they just, they influence them in a different direction. But I think that this person is struggling with, with, um, I feel like they're struggling a lot with third eye blocks right now with, they're struggling a lot with their intuition and they're learning. It's going to be a process for them. It's going to be a bumpy road is what I'm getting. Cause I feel like this person's third eye keeps blocking and opening and blocking and opening, but they are starting to finally, they have a lot of shit to get through, but I feel like they are starting to learn to like meditate and use their intuition. So it's like, I think in the past they like, they didn't say as much as they wanted to say, or they held back because someone gave them advice or because there could be like a third party or karmic around. Um, but it looks like they are going to reach out. They're just not sure what to say. And they're just taking some time to kind of sort through and figure out what they want to say. I want to take things slow and get to know you better. I'm afraid you'll break my heart. It's hard for me to fully trust you. I'm trying to get my life together so I can come to you with a stable love offer. There's someone new coming into your life. Yeah, I feel like this is them coming into your life in new energy, but it's something that you're going to have to kind of be patient with them for. You know, like they're going to need to go at a slower pace. You're so different than anyone I've ever met. You're helping me become a better person. You're so kind and empathetic and thoughtful. It's inspiring me to open up to you. 
I'm trapped in a stagnant, unhappy situation. I'm drained and distracted. But they're getting out of that. They're detaching from whatever that karmic cycle was. Could be a person, could be financial issues. But they're, they are coming out of that energy. Basically, what I'm getting here is this is just a process. It's something that you're going to have to be patient with them. And you're, you're, you're going to have to trust that things are going to play out the way that they're meant to play out. So thanks for watching, guys. And as I said, email me if you want a private reading.